Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm going to show you my secret weapon that can instantly pop even the most plugged up ears. Coming up. You know that feeling you get when you're flying in an airplane or you're driving through the mountains where you feel like you just need to pop your ears? Well, it could be due to your eustachian tubes that are not functioning properly. Basically, the eustachian tube is a hollow tube that connects your throat to your middle ear cavity. The job of the eustachian tube is to regulate the middle ear air pressure by letting air into your middle ear and letting air escape your middle ear. It is also what allows your ears to pop anytime that your middle ear air pressure changes, like when you're flying or when you're driving through the mountains, and it can even occur if you have a cold or a sinus infection. And typically, you can make your ears pop by simply just swallowing or yawning. However, if you are unable to easily pop your ears due to these middle ear air pressure changes, it could be due to a condition called eustachian tube dysfunction. Eustachian tube dysfunction is when your eustachian tube has chronic issues with not being able to open and close properly to equalize this middle ear air pressure. And it often leads to a lot of pain anytime that your middle ear air pressure changes since it can't regulate. This can ultimately lead to a negative middle ear air pressure that ends up pulling in or sucking in on your eardrum, causing a lot of tension where your eardrum connects to your ear canal, and it can cause discomfort, reduce hearing sensitivity, and even extreme ear pain. Sometimes a surgical procedure is required to actually puncture your eardrum to equalize this pressure. But one of the easier ways to actually do this is to be able to force air through your eustachian tube into your middle ear cavity. But one of the easier non-surgical ways to equalize this middle ear air pressure is to get air from your throat through the eustachian tube into your middle ear cavity by performing what is called the Valsalva maneuver. The Valsalva maneuver is when you plug your nose and try to blow air through your nose and it ultimately forces that air through the eustachian tube and into the middle ear space, thereby equalizing your middle ear air pressure. I'm not sure how much it'll help, but basically I'm going to perform the Valsalva maneuver right now by plugging my nose and blowing. And I just put a bunch of air through my eustachian tubes into my middle ear cavities, equalizing the air pressure. Since your nose is plugged while you're trying to blow air through it, the only other place for that air to go is through the eustachian tubes into your middle ear. If you're able to do this successfully, you will be able to equalize your middle ear air pressure and alleviate your pain almost instantaneously. The problem is, with the extremely plugged up ears and possibly eustachian tube dysfunction, the Valsalva maneuver is not going to work. It's kind of of like the harder you try to blow air through your eustachian tubes, the more your eustachian tubes tighten up and don't allow air to get through. If this is the case for you, then don't worry because I have a secret weapon that will instantly be able to pop your ears, even if you have the most plugged up ears on the planet. But before I tell you what my secret weapon is, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of an entirely new audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because then you will never miss one of my newly released videos and I release several new videos every single week. That being said, I really appreciate it. Now it's time for me to reveal my secret weapon, which is the ear popper from Summit Medical. Now this video is not sponsored, but I will put a link to the ear popper in the description below if you want to get one for yourself. But basically this device helps you pop your ears instantly by gently pushing air through your station tube to equalize your middle ear air pressure. This ear popper tool is extremely simple. It's basically battery powered and it will push air through this little opening in the top when you use the little push button that you have on the front of it. And essentially how it works is you actually put it up inside your nostril, you plug your other nostril while you push on the button, it gently forces that air into your nasal cavity and then when you swallow the only place for that air to go is is through the eustachian tube and into your middle ear space. Let me show you how it works. It's as simple as that. Since you basically get to stay relaxed while you're doing it, you're not bearing down as hard and actually putting more tension on your eustachian tubes, so it lets that air get through your eustachian tube much easier. 
Once you do it, the relief is almost instantaneous. Now, if you happen to have extremely plugged up ears or a really bad case of you station tube dysfunction, you might have to do it multiple times in order to get enough air through your eustachian tube to truly equalize your middle ear air pressure. Now, every single time that I fly anywhere or that I drive anywhere that's gonna have any kind of elevation changes, or if I have a cold or sinus infection, this thing goes with me wherever I go because I can't tell you how many times this thing has basically saved me from extreme ear pain. So anytime that I can't use the Valsalva maneuver to equalize my middle ear air pressure, this thing is on me and it's being used all the time. It always blows my mind when I find out that there's individuals out there who have chronic eustachian tube dysfunction or just have difficulty popping their own ears and they're completely unaware of devices like this. That being said, if you have chronic issues with plugged up ears, then it could be due to an underlying medical condition. And if that is the case, you should really seek out medical help from an audiologist or from an otolaryngologist. But for the vast majority of individuals who have difficulty popping their own ears, keeping a tool like the ear popper in your luggage or in your vehicle is a great way to pop your ears if you have issues popping them on your own. The ear popper is a little pricey at around $100, but it is extremely effective, it's reusable, and it's small enough to make it convenient to carry with you whenever you're on the go. And if you ask me, of course, it is worth every single penny. Now, I don't know how much ear pain you experience with a negative middle ear air pressure, but if you have extreme amounts of ear pain due to it, then you'd probably spend any amount of money to get instant relief. The question that I always get about tools like the ear popper is, is it safe to use? And the answer to that question is yes. It doesn't put out so much air pressure that you're gonna risk rupturing your eardrum. It just puts out enough air pressure to gently work its way through your eustachian tube to equalize the pressure. Personally, I have never seen the ear popper not work. So if it does not work for you, then you should be going to see a medical professional because there's probably something more serious going on that the ear popper just can't solve. Overall, if you have plugged up ears and you are not successful at popping your ears on your own, then using a tool like the ear popper could do the trick. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you wanna see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.